Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. Okay, so this is a real headline. From the New Republic, Trump cancels yeah. all his events in favor of one of the worst people ever. You mean the most Whoa. popular pod, the most popular talk show host in the world? Do you have the bits on it? Yeah. This Trump cancels all his events in favor of one of the worst people in the world. Donald Trump will be sitting down with Joe Rogan. Worst people. Have you guys never heard of Benjamin Netanyahu? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I mean, surely. Rogan isn't as evil as Oprah. <laughs> yeah, not by a mile. This is like Diddy Party people that think he's the worst person. But what what I think of the ancient line of Antichrist figures throughout history, of course, there's Genghis Khan, there's Pol Pot, there's Hitler, but they all have to take a knee to the highly successful podcaster out of Austin, Texas. How, how do you f screw up this bad and then blame the guy? who's just doing the thing you could be doing, but you stop doing it because you're a shell. Hey, uh, New Republic, it's not your job to decide who the worst people in the world are. That's Keith Olbermann's job, and the guy needs yeah. work. Yeah, I want to know what Keith, where Keith Olbermann stands. I want to see what color of glasses frame he wears while he says it. Then I'll decide. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's one of the worst people in the world. What did Joe Rogan ever do? Well, ah. ever. That's not the world. That's in, that's, you're, ever. you're only thinking... In, that's like four in history. That's four dimensional. Oh, the I, world's just you know ever in history. He hosts a popular podcast. People like he was right one about of the worst, and he was right about COVID. He got he, he beat COVID in two in like twenty four hours. Wow, my he god! Never, dude. I, think of how mind blowing this is. Joe never even made a mistake about what he was saying regarding COVID. Yes, the times they said he was mistaken. No, he was right. He was right. People that weren't against him that said no, actually, it's this. They were wrong. That's right. So how did Joe Rogan, the worst one of one of the worst people ever, how is he one hundred percent right on every part of COVID? But you're not, you know, the people in charge of that. How does that work? After backing out of several major interviews at the last minute, Donald Trump has one last major appearance on the horizon, the Joe Rogan experience. The Republican pre presidential nominee will be meeting with the former Fear Factor host on Friday. Report. It'll be the first time that Trump has appeared on Rogan's podcast. Wow. Former Fear Factor host. Is that why he's the worst person ever? <laughs> I bet it is. Oh, my friend's texting me a picture of the girl who wrote because, you know, I'm like, but I'd already looked it up. Oh, who I had it? to see who. who it? But it, keep in Ellie, mind. Ellie. She, some, she, L, L, yeah. Oh, it's a woman. Wait, but wait. Ellie. But just so people understand, she probably didn't make that headline. Because I read the article because I wanted to know why he's one of the worst people ever. There's nothing about that in her article. Oh, I bet you're right. She's not responsible for that headline. So the editor is the one. The editor did that. I this a long that. time ago on my old podcast because these stupid SJW blogs would come out, you know, like on Jezebel. And I found out, no, the writer doesn't come up with it. The editor That's does. Right. So this is written for a dumb illiterate shit lib to just read the headline and not read the article. If you read the article, it tells you nothing, as you'll see in these uh, slides. So, yeah, over the last several months, Trump has made a concerted effort to reach young male voters by signing up for a slew of interviews with podcasters, including Twitch ban, Banny Aiden Roast, the Lex Friedman podcast, Six Feet Under, hosted by wrestler Mark Calloway, and Theo Vaughn's podcast this past weekend. Oh, okay. all the lowest class people. By the way, it's Aiden Ross. Are, are those Twitch Banny. So, oh my God, that's like a, a worse than a Diddy party. If you were banned from Twitch, I, I don't, I don't even know him, but I know he's up there in the worst people. So this is the 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 thing you were saying about uh, Rodney Dangerfield and uh, yeah, uh, you know, oh, he's with the slob. He's with the that's slob. What they mean. That, that those are all very popular shows. People love those people. So Trump goes and relates to them. It's like. Rodney Dangerfield in a movie. You know movie. what they think being a good person is? Is never mentioning how big Arnold Palmer's cock is. Yeah. Because it wouldn't be right, you know? It's funny that still they haven't mentioned one thing that makes Joe Rogan a bad person. Except, let, Let's see. Well, reaching out to young men, I That's guess. That's it. The only thing they Trump. said, he reached out to young men, and I think they said that he supported RFK over Trump. Oh. oh. That That's what, that's it. 
Well, that's the worst, one of the worst things ever. Liberals think Dick and Liz Cheney and Bill Kristol and George Bush are honorable and moral patriots, <laughs> while Joe Rogan is one of the worst people ever due to all the wars, torture programs, illegal domestic <laughs> spying, kidnapping, coups, and mass murder Rogan implemented. Yeah. Very funny, Glenn. Yeah. Well, Rogan did legalize torture during the war on terror, so that's fair. Remember that? Remember I that? was like, why is the guy from Fear Factor in charge of that? It, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. <laughs> Seattle MAGA extremist says, that's not fair, Glenn. Let's not forget Joe Rogan confessed to using ivermectin. Oh, my God. That's a horse apple dewormer. That's worse than having a, ba a thousand baby oil bottles filled with GHB. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ivermectin made people go blind, like masturbation. <laughs> like, it was a sin. Gunshot victims couldn't get in. They couldn't. Gunshot well, victims were standing in line. You know how you look to stand in line with a gunshot wound? You know how a hospital would definitely prioritize. Prioritize ivermectin poisons over gunshots. Over, over gunshots. That's how it works at all hospitals. Yeah. It totally made sense. Rolling Stone was right on top of it. Great job. Worst ever. It's still amazing that people still repeat that ivermectin line to me on social media, and they're still not upset that they were lied to. People, I had someone in my DMs today defending Fauci. Oh, ah. remember, remember how he helped people out during AIDS? You, do you remember the movie The Dallas Buyers Club starring no. Matthew how McConaughey? Long ago that? What are you, a boomer? You, I don't remember nothing past a month. Do you know who the, who the bad guy in the Dallas Buyers Club movie was? It was Dr. Fauci. No oh, matter someone, no matter yeah. what po po propaganda Rolling Stone prints about it, that's the fact. Hey, Kamala's interview might be still on with Rogan. They're they're being I, I got forty five minutes that. though. She's gonna filibuster. That's gonna be listen. Twenty minutes of Kamala goes a long way. We all can admit that. <laughs> that's all you need. You don't need more than twenty minutes of her. You know. But I just because Rogan, I mean I, I mean I, I yeah. bet if I was Joe Rogan and I'm not. But uh, if I was Joe Rogan, I would probably spend the first 15 minutes trying to get her to uh, tell me why she only limited our, our interview to 45 minutes. Why? Why? What are you afraid of? He won't do that. Joe is a jujitsu guy. And so my favorite, Adam ruins everything. Where I first was like, really appreciate how good he is at interviews. Adam ruins everything. When I watch that, Rogan wasn't aggressive. He wasn't mad. Like, I lose my temper pretty yeah. quick when someone says me something too. stupid to me. And he does not because he's a calm dude and he's like, it's like jujitsu. So all that would happen is he'll follow any rules they give. They're going to give rules for what you can say. And she'll still cock it up because she's going to collapse under her own weight. And it, he's not, the whole thing is he's being completely Zen talking to people. Yes. That's what they hate him for. So they ruin themselves talking to him. It's not even, he's not trying to ruin her in any way. All, he's, all he has to do is bring up the border. That's all he has to do is bring it up. I mean, if I don't know what the topics are, I know we was like not supposed to come up, so I don't give a shit about that. We already know what they knew about about that, but uh, I want to know. I want to know like the things they want to talk about. That's what I want to know. You know, I, I would love for him to bring up her imprisoning black, targeting black single moms for prison over truancy of their kids, and the one mom she actually did screw up, lost her house, lost her job. Because their kid had sickle cell anemia. That, that uh, would be that would be awesome if he brought that up. When I wrote up. those jokes, I sent that that clip to Robin. Like, yo, if you're talking to Trump's people, they should see this and promote this woman because it's a that that's one of the most despicable. I don't if you uh, when you see this woman's story of what happened to her, so that this empty shell of a woman could grandstand it with a bad idea, a bad, bad Canadian idea. idea, and then have it struck down and just hassle this woman's life and then make a big show of embarrassing her and the only people she embarrassed were black single mothers that's it the only, and out of her way a, a woman who's got a, a girl with a legit excuse from school handicap and what is she costing the school by uh, not going in thirty dollars a day i mean that just sums up everything about kamala harris right there you don't need to know nothing else except you don't need that. to know anything else Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets.